What do you recall back in the day when you get an opportunity to replace a legend like Grant Fuhrer? How much pressure was there on you as, as you had those skates to fill? Uh, to tell you the truth, there's always pressure, but I didn't really feel it that way because uh, the way it happened is uh, Rick Wamsley got hurt, so mm -hmm. then Grant was playing, I was backing up, and then Grant got hurt, so you kind of get thrown there, but but you don't have the feeling there's somebody, you know, that Grant's on the bench waiting to play, so I knew I had an opportunity to step in and, 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 and take my, my, my place. I, I didn't know what was Cliff was doing at that time, but... I think just the way it happened, yes, I got fortunate that, that both guys got hurt and then uh, I had a chance to play. As a French-Canadian kid, were you better off playing in Toronto as opposed to maybe having the chance to play in Montreal? Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't mind playing anywhere, but, but looking back at it, uh, I think it was good for me to, to leave home and, uh, and uh, play in, a, in another city than, than Montreal. But, but Although if, if that would have happened in Montreal, it would have probably be the same thing. But. Uh, really happy to have uh, play for the Leafs. So much leadership in that room. Let's talk about the leadership behind the bench. What made Pat Burns so special that allowed all of you guys to play and come together as a team? Well, Pat knew how to deal with the guys. I think uh, he was tough when he had to. He was he was good when he had to. But but mostly he was a fair guy. I think he uh, everybody knew what he was demanding. They had the the right uh, the right the right time with it and uh, he knew I would deal with, with this guy and and we had a lot of character in that room I think not just from our captain our assistant you know we had Mike Foligno, Mike Osborne, Peter Zezel, Wendell, Dave, a bunch of guys it was it was probably the greatest team I played with in my whole career. That defense make it easy for you? Yeah so it's, it's always company, it, yeah. it always worked out together I think I've never seen a team uh, that win with a good goalie and, and, and with no good defense or, or vice versa. I think they played tremendous in front of me every night when they were they had a breakdown. I tried to be there for them, but, but most night they were there. We, 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 uh, we had uh, six good defensemen. Take me back as you're looking from the opposite end and Dougie's doing what he does against Cujo and that one way or the other way, and I don't know how you would have reacted. Uh, Curtis certainly is still bitter over that goal, but what are you looking back? What's going through your mind? I'm at just looking at it. I said, okay, stop moving from side to side and just put it in. And uh, when, when he roofed it, it was, uh, it was pretty amazing. I mean, the, the building went crazy, and, and uh, everything was special about that year. Every, every, every game we won, every series we won, there was always something special happening, it seems. Felix, it's so close to separate teams that win Stanley Cups and don't. Uh, that club very easily could have won a Stanley Cup. Uh, it must have been disappointing to, to lose out to Los Angeles the way it did end in Game 7. Yeah, it was, uh, it was all heartbreaking. I think we had a, a tremendous chance of, of winging it in, in, L in L.A. in Game 6. And uh, uh, we just couldn't pull it off. There was a couple of uh, penalty call and, 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 and they score in overtime. And in Game 7... Um, Wayne just took over. It was uh, probably one of his greatest game, and uh, it's just uh, it's just too bad we couldn't pull pull it off. We couldn't ask you uh, about your career without asking about that day in Philadelphia. We were there, and uh, when did you decide to head down the ice and take on one of the toughest goaltending customers ever in Ron Hextall? Well, actually, I didn't have to head down the ice. He was coming down pretty fast, so I just. Uh, you don't think about too much. You just try to get ready and, and, and see what happened uh, with him. But the things turned out pretty good. Have you turned into a pretty good hockey coach, coaching minor midgets uh, in Magog, Quebec? I'm trying to. I think uh, I enjoy it for sure. I think I like working with, with younger kids and, and giving them some of my experience that, that I was able to get from all the coaches I had, not only from the NHL, but in the, in the major junior. and. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Sometimes it's uh, it's challenging now nowadays working with kids, but uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I have a lot of fun.